everyone so today I am back with another tutorial for you this one is extra special um, basically I am going to be doing the Jordan hand challenge if you don't know about Jordan and her blog I'll post links to everything about her below um, I first became aware of Jordan when she posted um, her post and video called My Beautiful Struggle basically explains her story and how she goes about doing her makeup um, every day or for tutorials. Um, personally, her story touches me um, quite a lot because I myself suffer from an invisible illness and that means I've had to adapt my life according to um, the thing that's the thing that I had the condition that I have. Um, and basically it reminded me of how we all take a lot of things that we do for granted um, I myself used to take having a shower for granted um, now I can no longer have a standing shower I have to sit down or else I'll pass out and basically Jordan's story touched me because she has basically taken something that she loves to do um, something that she really enjoys and despite her struggles she has been brave enough and strong enough to find ways to adapt um, and to still bring great tutorials um, and I think that's fantastic so basically she's come up with a challenge to raise awareness um, I don't want to say too much so what I'll do I'll post all the links down below basically as you can see I have my hands bound um, basically Jordan's hands are um, paralysed, so she only has a slight movement of her thumb and I've sometimes seen that she manages to put things between her finger and clamp them around brushes and things like that. Um, I don't know the complete ins and outs of it, but obviously she explains that all in her video. So basically the challenge is that you have to um, bind your hands and then do makeup. Now the rules are you can have your makeup open and ready by the side because as she says she normally has assistants that will do that for her when she's doing her videos so I thought it would be a good idea to um, mix up my Valentine's tutorial with this challenge and see how I get on because we do all take for granted when we're doing our tutorials that we do have full use of our hands so what we're going to do I'm going to start with I don't know how much movement she has but I'm going to start with Smashbox Studio Skin um, 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. I've already put a moisturiser on myself um, so I'm just going to try and apply this. Now normally I put this on the back of my hand but it's actually quite difficult now because it's like a pump So and she only has a small amount of movement on her thumb so I'm going to God it's quite hard try and use my mouth to do that I'm trying really hard not to move my hands um, and then I'm just going to take a brush gosh it's harder than you think which I'm going to just hold between my thumb and I'm going to try and blend my foundation like I normally would now normally it would be really easy to get the angle of the brush right but this is quite difficult without moving your hands because you take for granted that you can hold the brushes really quite easily and angle them in just the way you want I don't know if you've seen Jordan's tutorials but she is absolutely amazing her makeup is always completely on point I do have to admit this probably isn't my best base I have ever done and you actually have to use quite a lot of strength in your thumb to hold the brush this way um, because usually obviously you'd clamp it between your fingers I'm trying to think how I'd normally hold a brush now and I'm actually finding it quite difficult to think how I'd do it so I think that that is my base blended next I am going to use um, a concealer I'm using the collection Last Imperfection um, where oh um last imperfection concealer um and it's basically already comes with it oh god it's actually quite hard to hold smaller things you think it would be easier um so i'm just going to apply that under my eye 
and on any areas where I want to create just a little bit of highlight. And then I'm going to go back, I think for this, because normally I'd use my fingers. So, I don't know, could you lightly use a knuckle? Or maybe the back of the thumb. I'm going to try and use the back of my thumb just to blend it slightly. Thinking this is a this is a technique that's working. I'm gonna continue to burn that on both sides. Ooh. Knuckles actually quite a good tool for this, although I can't tell if it's properly blended or not. Because you have to be gentle with your eyes. I'm not quite sure how it's working. Next I am going to apply a powder. I'm using the um, Essence Stay All Day 12 Hour Long Lasting Powder and it's a little bit darker than I should be using so I just almost using it as like a contour because it works slightly with my pale skin and I'm just applying it on place where you might need it and it'll just give a bit of colour Holding the brushes isn't the hardest thing, I think it's the opening the products and um, holding the smaller products and trying to get those open, it's actually really difficult. Um, next I am going to apply a bit of blusher using my uh, Makeup Revolution blusher brush and Hourglass in um, Ambient Light and Diffused Heat. I really like this colour because it's really subtle and it's really pretty think you've applied too much which I might have here I might be looking a little bit like a clown you can always take a brush and just buff it out ever so slightly I'm so tempted at this stage to break my hands out so I can't imagine how difficult it must be not to not to have any use of them at all um, next I'm going to try and brave it and I'm going to do an eyeshadow I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution um, Naked Chocolate Palette which has got some lovely light golds and things like that um, I'm just going to take this brush and see this is where it's difficult because again I can't get the angle right so you have to make sure you put in the blush, the colour on both sides And I'm just going to go for like a, this light, this pale goldy colour here. And I'm just going to blend that into like the crease line. On both sides. And I'm going to try and put like a, this darker gold colour just up here. Just deep into the crease line. The thing I'm finding hardest is the pressure that you use to apply. Like you have to use a lot of power in your arms. It's actually making my arm ache, the amount of power that I'm having to use. So I've got that. And then I suppose you could do what we were doing before and just use your knuckle again on your thumb. Just to buff it out. Or I suppose you could even use your wrist just to buff it out slightly. I think that's one of Jordan's techniques is to use her wrist to rub things in. Um, then I am going to apply God, this is hard to hold, Falsify 17 Mascara Now you'd have to sort of put that down and then sort of swap it over again. It's all about the angles that makes this quite difficult because you haven't got your fingers to sort of position things where you need them. You have to be very adaptable to put things where you want them. Now 
and I don't know if you, can, you can't see where my make is but I've practically knocked everything off the side where I laid it out and I can't, I can't imagine how frustrating it must be when you're trying to use products and you're constantly knocking them off, you're dropping them. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is the Makeup Revolution Salvation Lip Gloss in Nothing Like You and I. And I can't even tell if I applied this evenly. Basically, that's the end of my look. I'm looking lovely, and I could go on a little Valentine's Day out if I wanted to. Um, basically, overall, that was actually more difficult than I thought it might be. Um, you really do take for granted how much of your hands you use to apply makeup. Um, and it's been quite an eye-opening experience to only have the use of my thumbs and a small use of my thumbs to see how difficult it actually is. And Jordan and other people like her are doing things like this every single day and they are not moaning about it, they are getting up and they are just getting on with it. And someone like Jordan is getting up and she's doing this because she loves it and um, she loves to do this kind of thing and she's still making videos and doing them really successfully. Um, so thank you very much for creating this challenge Jordan. I'll make sure to post the links to everything that she does down below. Link all the details so that if you want to give this a go as well, you can try it out too. So until next time, see you later, bye!